Last I saw, he was in the mess, as always. Welcome back, Sid. Again? I seen schoolboys swing harder. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Finish with that log, so we can call it a morning. <laughs> Welcome back, Sid. Blood on it. Am I getting on? Ah, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best juice. Don't tell you. Shout if you need. Be a stranger, Sid. And what can I do for you? I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> You're out. We well, won't hear making. The only drawback. Still. Going purse weighing you down. to run out of potions while you're away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. Uh, uh, couldn't... Uh, um, gear. Clive. Uh, things here ain't too bad. Say so myself. And if 
you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bear. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. You know, come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either. Blythe. Is everything all right? All operations are suspended and... Ah, word of your adventure. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single... No one seems keen. Any news what... None worth mentioning. Gav should be back any time. Understood. Can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a... Yeah, this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has a... Oh, 
aid. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit... One might say the same of you, Vivian Knight. I'll have you know that only four attempts, so... Could it be that you... <laughs> Very well, then. To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the... Well, mostly army. But the real question... Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. Now, as to the matter of payment for... T Even. Return this volume to old tomes in the... Sh I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Here for another of my lectures, one would think. <laughs> I admit. reputable fellowship my beloved homeland Or at least, it was. <sighs> what is it that you wish to learn? One must understand one's place in the world.
The state of the realm is ever-changing. Ah, my favorite. Here you are. Here's the latest information I have. Thus ends today's lesson. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard. Welcome home. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to... Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than... Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such. That said, I have continued my search for mention, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion... Please, don't apologize. I fear it is not more books that I... Mayhap, we look in the wrong place. I'll see what I can... You are too kind. There are not many... Not to... Always got a pocket for him. Hush now. We all know... <laughs> The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they, the loss of their parents weighs heavy. Titan took much from us that night, and the wounds that... Which is why we must give... That we must. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Old Tome said the hideaway is built inside an airship. Said it was called the Invincible. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Good. I'd had that brand for so long. What it was like. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. Have a look. And then you get... What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. 
good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. What 
would make Martha leave the rest. Something has happened to Martha. What do we know? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eat, they've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway. Claiming there, I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing. Compl and now she, she's fallen into the... A couple of curse breakers. They should help speed up the search. Don't worry, Otto. If you need volunteers, just say the word. And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Here you are. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Damn blighty is aside from the hulk the lake water doesn't that's one way of putting it. And unless you got something that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young tech does our assuming we had any doubt the old Of course Obert your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Well well, to make pitch, you need pitch trees. Now, well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you, and it just so happens, I once heard the thorny pitchers of curled... Sounds easy. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
can't imagine Herbalist needing any more than this. Time to head home. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. I'm sorry, Sid. You're too late. Imperial Vistoff's name will be half an hour, I reckon. What are you after? That all, is it? Let's get you to a physical. Sid? What's it? I trust you don't mind. And it appears you were. Uh, they're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed to... To the Abbey. And both Jill and I will go after them. We will. But, um, one of the locals heard something. I don't know how big this is, but... You do the... Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to Culling, bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Worry about me. It's tell us what happened. The black sh the bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna poor souls turned on the Imperials. Then, Martha, do you think you can make it back? I think so. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Oh! 
Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That colluding with the... And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the... L to dwell in darkness that we may purge the night. How dare you speak? Clive. This won't take. I didn't see... Abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic... The Clive. Friends of Moth. They are. Rosaria will never be saved. Tell Moth. I... In here! We found a survivor! Clive. He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot with the bears. No, they didn't. They knew the fate that awaited them and... Arthur said they rose from their beds. I've gathered the bearer's remains. There's a drawbridge not far from here. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the cut. I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and...
Last toggle? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. See that coming.
That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden. And now they... I hope so. A pyre is more than they. Cole is worried. All right. been speaking with the Blood Axis about how best to stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one's... I'm sorry. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean Cole said you cast their remain, but it should have been me? How? But I did. And I turned a deaf ear. The rumors started moons ago. Of black, I assumed it was all nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. Which begs the question. My mother obviously has a hand in this. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time. If those Imperials think they can come in here again... Oh, before I forget... A Stolas from Otto. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. We can say No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I don't know. Try not to move. Oi! You of course you are. Now, question is, are you talking about? You are Mira, and not just White Heart and her flock. Are the bravest talk about? It's true. Well, go on then. There's work. I saw him cut across the way over you. You say, and don't worry. I'm sure. And good luck. White Heart. That's quite a name for a shocker, though. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was. Speaking of Brit. Looks like they went that way. Ah! 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 
These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. You got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin. Not around. Oh. Because she's something of a... You hurt her. All right, then. safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. It is you. You survived. Oh. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how... Oh, and the whole flock! Thankfully, they did. Well, I'll be... No, I dare say she... Reckon our feathered friend must have learned... Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. Well... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't... What is it, girl? She wants her map. <coughs> Told you. And it's... Is that it? Well, bugger me if this ain't a hard... Oh!
Doesn't she, Cotton Anson? She does indeed. Ah. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go. Don't you worry. You hear that, Lightheart? Hmm. You... That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> now, anyhow, best be up. You take care of your flock, then I'll call you when I need. safe. I'll go. Yeah. Same as... Yeah, Sid. How is it I'll never see you on the phone? Should be back by now. I hear there's trouble. Think it's all right to touch him? I don't know. You go first.
Martha's gonna get back on her feet, she'll need... Ah, Clive! How <laughs> I've missed that scowl! Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Darmekia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kukka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's Breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? That brute is as ragged as And how may I assist you today? Allow me to educate you.
Thus ends today's lesson. So Mather's all right. Yeah. What's the matter? The hunt ball. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted. Right. The people of Valis, the last thing they need is ungodly. And perhaps I... The patron, does that mean... Oh, no, that's still me. It's just, I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to... Business is busy. Still. I'll be here waiting. How may I help you today, Clive? Words are immortal. Come to claim your just desserts. Here you are. You earned this. Sorry, but you're not quite there yet. Hasn't been delivered yet, I'm afraid. How are you doing? Oh, same old. So... Oh. And see, he's still... Here you go. Always something in there. Doesn't sound like anywhere is safe. See, I, I am... 
Is everything... Oh, yeah, it's just... It's good to know there's some... Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble. I took it on, you see, after she... And not only is it ready, it's act... Impressive. I thought this... You couldn't... It'll be nice. Oh, sure, here you go. You hear that, Martell? To look like you could use. Martel. Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course she was. I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran? These aren't those apples. She'd have been. Others weren't so lucky though. A gift from the back. Sid was the only one. He'd nab them right from the branch. Made Martell livid. That sounds like this. Planning on keeping. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm glad to see someone carried on. Reckon she Clyde. <sighs> well, you can leave. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And through you. I, oh, by the way. Of course not. They like your fruit, Martel. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself.
I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the trans. Of course, your lord. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this? Then they must be here for. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Keep to the roads now. Excuse me. You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. The Empire wants answers and what the end. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good call. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. We're going hunting for outlaws. There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. Seen. I'm sorry. The black sheep. At least I think there was a black sheep. Was this the first? Time? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. If only we were. I might turn. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. I know that we couldn't help noticing. Don't you go telling me. 
I speak for the people of this... You are to leave and... May I at least... I don't know who you are or what brings you here. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people, this village will... Then we shall be on it. These people live with a knife to death. In the mistaken belief that if they call... Obedient. Are you all right? We still don't know who the... Well, whoever they are, but other than Martha, who else in... A new ally would certainly be welcome. Perhaps the next... Pa. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. men.
blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then, we owe you to dwell in darkness that we may pu- Say that again. I'll show you a trick to present. Tell me what I want to me. Who are you looking for? <sighs> what? Your friends have been found. Th they await you. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. something, boy. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. We should go. Yes.
We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be... ...in Port Isolde. Mathers, all right. Slavers don't even bother with me. There's two. This is not easy.
So Mathers all right. Yep. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Sound like it.
We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. There's a curfew, but then refuses passage to the provincial capital is restricted to a They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. The place is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told my uncle fared better. the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. We should start with the main gate and see where that gets us. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia.
choice for his dogs they are. You can't ignore us forever. Last end, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. Oh, no, get enough for you. Fuck off. Oh, I'm the jealous bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stall. I'll cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. I suspect everyone. Was that the only way? Officially, yes. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into- If you're sure, do you think it's safe? As long as it is. The good news is, we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Faster! Straight home now. This is nothing like I remember it. Now quickly. The crown can lose its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside.
And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. What is it you require? Of course, my lord. It has been an honor. Show them as much mercy as they did ours. Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians. The Black Shields will call for reinforcements. This will allow us to wage battle. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in... How small? Small enough. No so until we... So wait. 
Very good. As you come out. Thank you, Sir Wade. There is but one putting an end. And so we... Listen to the Phoenix, go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Command, my lord. What is it now? I told you! We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds a woman and a dog could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords we swear. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Yeah. 
I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards... Perhaps this will be enough to stop... Perhaps. She'll move swiftly to see her mi... And then it will... I often wonder if the nation... Her feel... We battled to preserve the flame that was, but for... Yet be that as it may. It... For as long as the Firebirds and her loyal subjects may dream of a day... So wait. Think we should fall back to Porter's... A sound. And how long has my uncle been funding? Since the beginning. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak... I suppose a formal request... ...and appearance. Were the vice regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement, where he would be of no... And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither... I might have something... It's the mark of the Guardians. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Thank you, Sir. If there is... I know. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Madu, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more.
Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. So... I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. I'd say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle! <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. 
Because once they learned that the lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Knows what awaits us in my kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Oh, I didn't take you. Oh, this I borrowed it from old tomes. See, <laughs> oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? From spit roast, if it's well, I'm no hunter, Sid, but you're made of. Something tells me. Fanta so, uh, chances stew. It was what the only problem is that while the recipe is ex a beast, no doubt, most likely something that would make easy work of a simple. Does the book say? Well, only that the sweet is fine. Roses. One of the butchers in Martha's rest might.
A sea voyage this time, is it? Typical nobles. A part of me thought Drake's head might be the last crystal we ever cracked. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. All in good time, eh? All done? There are new billets being posted every day. Clive! Oh, am I glad? There's something wrong. It's Blackthorn, and if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally, it only takes a couple of... Something's getting him down. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? But I'm thinking he might if we both bent... Fine. No. But if he does... All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. Just wait a bit. August was worried that something I thought you... <laughs> I told you. Clive just wants to out. Talk to him. Please, mate. <sighs> Not the sort of thing. Why don't you tell... Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interest. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass. She's... <gasps> my... I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Yeah, you got what you... All right. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit... Didn't think anything. Blackthorn's always taken pride in it. Something tells me this is... If he has doubts... I couldn't have... He said he should have... Assuming... Too bloody... Glad to hear it. So, we find a cuirass, give it to Blackthorn, and he works out to make it. Karen, Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come back. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. Sorry, sold it all. Didn't think Blackthorn cared, but it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Max all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. You don't know where we might... Like I said, I don't trust hunters neither, which means he's... I see. It did tell me, apparently, his next commission... Here, there's a griffin on the hump board. The curse break. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Thank you, Karen. At least. So, it sounds like going after that grip. I'll leave that. While you get on with that. Good idea. If that level worker's even half the craftsman Blackthorn says, someone's bound to have it.
Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Ah, welcome. Unwanted violets. <laughs> You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets just used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a and even if they were... Do the... I dare say... Thank you. Stay sharp. No use calling Ambrosia now. Come on. Run like the wind.
come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Have a rest. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working, though. Good girl. Exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew.
finished. Something there, boy. Could that be our man? Are you all right? Yeah. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. More likely than. The name's Camille. Not so lowly. Do you remember selling to him? For bought a caress from me. I didn't stop her bartering. <laughs> it's not her. Well, you should be. Blacksmiths are proud folk. And uh, I don't imagine an impress. I did, actually. What is it? Treated leather. If your man's as skilled. You sure? Well, and thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But. In that case? I'd be much. Right. You send your black. Will do. Hopefully this will sweet. Did you fight? I didn't. Marvelous! Let's see. You wouldn't be... I present... Grab a spook. I'm... Uh... a moment you're uh, I'm a share this gift a single mouthful um, I'm Just taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. And with a bit of luck. How'd it go, Cl Did you find? I found it. And he asked me to give you that. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded. <sighs> Good few times too, and that's no ordinary. Or, or, or this. Yeah, I'll take your word. Here, Clive. Camille, I believe. I thought there ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting. Turns out he's from Tabor, but our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret. Then we better keep this. <sighs> Listen, still. That was the idea, Clive's idea. It's good to have you. Just don't expect there's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what... And don't get me started how much... Oh, I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse break. Anyway, enough now. Looks like we won. As if there was a... I wouldn't have been the same anyway. All right, now that's... Thanks, Clark.
What do you need? What's that for, you, dear? And how am I meant to do that then? Day, Clive. Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. Back again, look. <sighs> What will it be? The Iron Kingdom. You'll soon be setting sail. The Mother Crystal that... There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill washtubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil, when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then... Thank you all the same. Oh, 
much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready.